Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. This is a early look at Tinker Toy sim Toy Tinker Simulator. The you, toy. It's written on the screen. I don't have to try to fish back in my memory. <laughs> you just get to work in a cute little toy shop and and work on toys. It felt like the perfect relaxing morning game and so this is this is how I'm gonna start my day but you know starting uh, this fantasy where I get to pretend that I, I'm like handy and I'm, I'm good at things I'm not just like a uh, cave dweller yeah th and th I think I think that's the dream that's what every that's why everyone plays games is to become the the master master of anything really but today we will be the masters of toy making or tinkering, you know, you could do, you could make them, you could tinker them. There's, there's options, you know. Well, maybe you'd have to buy a toy maker simulator. That could be the prequel. <laughs> uh, yeah, you gotta love when you open up a game on your computer, and the first thing it does is it sits you down at your computer. <laughs> My first project, uh, a fun little train. Oh, I, I need to buy some parts. Oh, good thing I have like a hundred grand. What am I doing tinkering with toys? Do you know what? That's probably, I was gonna say, what am I doing tinkering with toys? I'm rich. But that's why you have the freedom to tinker with toys. You're already, you're already doing fine. You can pick up some insane hobbies now. I'm guessing they didn't make their fortune sanding little wooden trains. So you have to go to the market, buy a few supplies. The game tells you precisely what you'll need. Getting our first look at the toy here. It looks like, honestly, it just needs a little bit of paint. I don't know what, what we're worried about with the with the rest of all of this here. I, I, I've actually been watching, what's the show called? The Repair Shop. It's like an interesting show to watch people take small antiques and things and bring them back up to a, a, a current standard and refurbish them. And it's, it's neat. It's really cool watching that part. Then the sad part is when like the 90 year old person who dropped it off comes back to get it and they cry. <laughs> There's something about watching like old people cry, especially old people cry about being sentimental. Oh my god. They should have like a safe for watching SFW as that traditionally means, safe for watching version of that show where it cuts out all the sentimental sadness. Because <laughs> it's too it's too much. Zoom in on, on one bit that has a white outline, and then I just drag some tools on it, as you would as you would be known to do. Oh, I see him Jim and Jimmy and Jimmy in and out of there. All right, well, did I did I use up that chisel? Is that chisel gone forever? Now? Is that why I bought twenty five of them? They're single use chisels. That's like not. I would I would say that's not very good. I would I would hope. That I'd, I would be getting more mileage out of these chisels. Like, presumably, I should be able to use it like 50,000 times. Uh, well, I, I popped off. Oh, all the wheels. All the wheels are coming off. Mm hmm. All the wheels gone. Uh, do, do I still need to do more here? Oh, I, I, I just am, am disconnecting things now. All right. Every piece completely separate. Send the part to the next process. What is with that? What what is with the two sets of wheels that are just flawless? Why, how did those stay up in such good shape? I'm, I'm sending everything to the ultrasonic cleaner. We're not no waters or chemicals involved. Just some hard rock and roll. Maybe a bit of metal for the wheels. Wood isn't a genre of music. I don't know what you're gonna do on the train. <laughs> on the train, folk is woodsy. It makes sense. Check up on all of our, our gear plopped in here. Oh, turning on a machine to just watch it do some cleaning. Let, let's do uh, the, the chef simulator next. But instead of being the chef, we'll be the guy who works in the kitchen and we'll like wash dishes. They all work in the kitchen. The back of the kitchen. <laughs> everything is clean now? That was all that every everything had to do? Uh, and now, now I just get to s snap everything into place, but somehow, okay, now, now it's all ready? Ready, Freddy? <laughs> I like how putting the entire thing into place was somehow part of it at the end there. Uh, I was kind of hoping I would get to like paint some of it and stuff. You know, I'm teasing the concept a lot, because yeah, it's a silly, it's a silly like casual game. But, uh, this like, I, I can get how it would or could be satisfying. That was all tutorial. Ooh, I like the before and after. I dig that. Now I'll have free reign 
in this next one. I hope there's room to totally screw it up. I don't know, paint it Optimus Prime colors or something. <laughs> really, really make it my own. Hand it to some kid with every outer part of it communicating, this is cool, it can transform. And then it's just made of wood. Joke's on you, kid. There were no Transformers. I was gonna say 100 years ago, there weren't Transformers like 40 years ago. F 50. We'll go with 50. <laughs> mm, I get to deliver the project. Oh, look at that. Look at that payday. Achievement unlocked. Train. <laughs> Everyone get on the train train. <laughs> there are 10, 10 achievements because there's 10, 10 projects you can do. All right. Well, we can either repair this totally destroyed uh, uh, zero paint. I don't know what's going on. Like old school Tonka truck with like a bucket loader in the back or whatever this is. And so my choice is whatever this is. <laughs> Someone so desperately looked at this and they were like, man, I, this needs to be restored to its former glory. Cause it's, it's just, what a sad, it's so sad that we've allowed this butt destroyer to, to fall into disrepair. You know, it seems like you would, you want to be careful where you leave it, right? You know, like a whoopee cushion. You know, careful with your pranks. You don't want to accidentally, like, do it to your teacher or someone who's going to get mad or something. Got to be careful where you leave your whoopee cushions. It's just, you know, it's good etiquette. You got to be real careful where you leave this one. <laughs> Not a good prank. I kind of skipped this in the tutorial. Now you get to go to the market and you kind of you kind of shop around for the different things you need. Like, we need a, a printer and we need a sanding block. And the varnish is probably in cleaners? Paint materials. No, it told me. It told me it was in paint materials. A little bit of varnish. And... Clear. We can clear the shopping list. We have everything we need. And so then I think I can just go straight to the workbench. I'm missing a step. <laughs> Pro project. Accept. This is what I need. I had to buy everything and then I have to accept it. Well, first things first, I will we'll go sand, sander up and s <laughs> I don't like that. Yep. Yep. I, I, I have to polish this thing. Oh, so it's not even a matter of like rotating it, turning it, making sure you get the different angles on it and everything. Nope. It just like kind of automatically passed. It just, it, there was no, there was no doing it incorrectly. <laughs> That's almost too bad, because I, I, I think it would be interesting if there was a degree of skill. Like, you could you could potentially miss a spot and have it kind of, each step is like minigame-esque. Like, I, I like the, I named myself Master, so I like the idea of being a Master Builder. But truly, my preference would be that, like, I get rated. And the value that I get out of it fully comes from, like... Uh, how well I was able to to do it. <gasps> Is it a seal balancing a ball on its nose? This is the best I can think of. I don't know what any buttons... I, I don't know what to do with these stickers now that they've printed. You know, this is an early beta. I had to, I had to like, cancel and go back to the main menu. And now it looks like uh, this is, like, partially... No, no, I, I, I get to pick up where I left off. So printing first, and then can I just say, no, I have to like select, maybe I ha uh, I don't know. I'm trying to like peel off the stickers, tear the, tear the printout. Well, sorry, stupid seal, whatever you were, you're getting totally, I'm, I'm, I have to skip it. Not happening. It's okay. It was uncomfortable to work on anyways. Just, uh, you know, I try to minimize the amount of phallic shapes that I allow in my workshop. And, uh, I've, I've, I've already, I've filled my quota. You guys should have seen what I was working on yesterday. Like, pff, you wouldn't believe it. I, I would like to not check on my active project. I'm gonna deliver it. <laughs> you still get the achievement for it. Also, the achievement confirms that it, it was a seal. <laughs> well, you know, they, they, I, I'm sure they'll be happy with it. It's, it's my best work. 
<laughs> the other one was a tutorial, so in, in some way that's that, that's not necessarily untrue. This it, it may very well be my best work. I don't I don't have a a particularly lengthy reference point. Oh, these really clip out of there easily, don't they? Didn't even need any tools for that one. You just kind of start grabbing and yanking things. We're, we're really just ripping it apart. No, no need for a delicate hand on this one whatsoever. Just grab, yoink, boink and doink, and it's uh, I'd I'd say that's a fully fully clean unit. It's regular regular sink for all all you. And uh, I just I I'll just I just turn on turn it on. Hmm. It's it's seemingly it like it really seems like this is meant to go to the sink. Maybe it's not ready. No, I did it. I clicked the button and things worked, and that's uh that's good. That's that's how it should be. Give it a quick polish. Look at that, bright and beautiful and shiny within seconds. Someone get uh Billy. Oh, okay. I have to do each one individually. Someone get like Billy Mays in here, or, or or the Slap Chop guy, or something. Man, there's a chance Billy Mays died, and the Slap Chop guy was like uh, a criminal or something. <laughs> I don't know any other infomercial people. We need we need a new era. There's a void to be filled there. We we I, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for whoever the next big infomercial guy is, and he can help me. They can help me with whatever. The, you put in toys, selling t cleaning things for toys for the master toy builder. This was much, <laughs> much easier than the seal. The seal was a write off. It was never going to happen. Not even the best of the best. I'm the master. There's a grand master above me, obviously. And they, I bet they couldn't have even done it. There are limits. You, you see? Ah, uh, yeah. That sounds ready to get p sent off truck the a little a little propeller plane that seems cool boat is neat rockets neat but all of them just seem like they would be the same right like let's tackle this little little dog and a dog house and his fence and everything there's so many intricate little parts and everything that I, I kind of hope like maybe it would have some slightly different the material requirements are the same they're like legitimately all the same so it, it, might not be anything new. It, you, I, I really thought, you know, I was a skilled laborer, and that this is like something that I've worked towards, and that I had, I was gonna show the world how good, how good I was at what I do. <laughs> I always screw that up. And it turns out there's like, you, you just need to be able, you need to be handy with the chisel, but not always, because a lot of the time, <laughs> a lot of the time you could just yank things. <laughs> Apparently the only th things that can go wrong like it doesn't look at look at how much crud that is It's not just like a little dirty. It's like caked on weird it, it, There's like a visible texture to it and everything, you know, oh, I got to be careful with that cock though You don't want to uh, over polish that <laughs> uh, That's uh, crucial crucial if you want to be the a, a top tier toy cleaner like myself to the sink to the cleaner to the sweat drips off my balls uh and you also to the sink there we go look at the i'm crushing it no wonder i'm rich if i'm able to fulfill like who knows how many contracts per day that it's infinite seemingly i there's no slowing me down i'm charging people like a hundred bucks a pop and i I'm, I'm just f so f speedy like you wouldn't even believe oh to the printer I see why that wasn't working and everything came off very easy just a little elbow grease didn't need any didn't need anything more complicated than that we're gonna sand this really delicate fence that looks like it's cardboard okay it's wood it's just thin wood it's not it's not a lot of wood and my favorite tool to use now yeah, got to make sure you give all those animals a bath. You got to, you would think, you would think that you know it would have 
a different form of treatment or something. They're probably made of like wood or whatever as well. I don't know what they're made out of, honestly, but it, it just, you think of it like a, the real world equivalent. You whitewash the fences, you give the dog a bath. It's a, it's a logic game. Oh, printer, my nemesis. Can you print things other than these dots? Because it kind of seems like all you can do is print dots. What a useless tool. Oh, I clicked the button on the side there and it just applied a bunch of stickers. And um, see, let's see, let's see if it'll work this time. Click the button, click the button, click in the button like a, a hundred times. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Oh, do you know what might be happening there? Is that each button click is another sticker applied, but they're getting applied on like the far side of it where I'm not even seeing them. And it's insane to me that the stickers that were was applying were like not prints out three little circles. Then this magic little printer, literally, it can be anything. Apparently, it can be anything it wants to be. Motivational sticker unit, capable of of anything it's a, a strong strong role models in its life well it ended up being the exact same steps in the process as the the others that I've done <laughs> I was kind of excited to do uh, different things it's all plastic I want things that actually need to be like painted and I want to be rated on my ability to paint it like I'm hammering these out, like I said, just at like this rapid, rapid pace, you know? I, I, I have these uh, objectives to work towards. I got 100% repair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, yeah. The one didn't count towards that. <laughs> it was maybe a little less than a hundo. And so now I just have uh, have uh, an award an award for that. Great. Repair five toys is my next one to work towards. I don't think I will. I, I I would be fine if each one of these took 10, 15, 20 maybe, but like 10, 10 to 15 minutes of really intricately polishing, painting, varnishing, sealing, re-putting it together and everything. I think I would get more out of it if it didn't just feel like, let's bang these out. Just get as many done as you can. It's a numbers game. You gotta grind, just just pass it, get, get them all done as quick as you can. No, I think it would be really cool if you had to like minutely clean and paint and repair and stitch and thread. Like, yeah, I, I personally think I would get more out of it. Master collection. I'm actually, <laughs> I, I think that that is an actual category title and I, I thought maybe it was like just because I owned it, it was automatically the master collection. No, I think it's just always called that. Well, I'll have a link to this down below. You guys can follow it. Keep an eye out for full release if it's up your alley. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Just taking a quick peek around here. A little, I, ha I haven't been in this room. Startled me for half a second. We didn't even repair our own rabbit. A rabbit's missing an ear. Come on.